you were obviously an assistant under Hayden Fry for those years in Iowa and then spent some time in Maine being a head coach and then joined the staff of a coach named Bill Belichick in Cleveland. When did, when did you first ever cross paths with Bill Belichick, Coach? <laughs> I'm only laughing. I'm still trying to figure out why, why I got hired in Cleveland. Uh, I think part of the – I know part of the reason is uh, I think about six or seven guys turned it down before they, <laughs> they got to me on the list. I swear I think that's true. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm not sure how it all happened. We, we did have a mutual friend, a coach named Tom Bresnahan, uh, Tom had been really, uh, really good to me throughout my career. Been, always has been a mentor and uh, just a tremendous guy. He worked for Marv Levy, but uh, Tom and Bill worked together in New York. So I'm guessing that might be where the connection all started. But uh, uh, it, I'll tell you, it was a rough interview. Uh, I never got beat up so bad, and uh, you know, oh, I, really? I, for sure, uh, I, was, I was certain I didn't get the job. And next thing you know, uh, I was back, uh, going back for a second interview. So. Uh, it's one of the great things that happened in my life. Just uh, those were three great years, and I'm, I'm remain very, very appreciative of that what, experience. How did how did Coach Belichick beat you up in the interview? <laughs> you talk about a stone face. I mean, you know, everything I said, he just looked at me, and uh, so I was dying a thousand of deaths after every answer that I gave him. It just uh, it was really uh, it was a tough interview, you know. And he he's very thorough, as you might imagine. Uh, asked very good questions, and. Uh, you know, at, at the essence of the whole thing, I'd been a head coach in, uh, at that time, one double-A football for, for three years. So after the first interview, he said, hey, I really appreciate your honesty. He says, you know, I think, you you know, you're a straight-up guy that way, but I uh, worry about your tech, technical uh, knowledge and that type of thing. But uh, somehow <laughs> we overcame it, and we were able to hook up. Well, what's your relationship like with him now? I know that he's had one of your sons on his staff. Uh, how would you categorize him now? Coach. That's been great. I mean, he's he's been nothing but helpful uh, in my career, and I'm I'm very much indebted. Just uh, first and foremost for what I learned from him, and just you know having a chance and opportunity to work with him for three years, you can't help but learn. And also appreciative of the fact that uh, they were very kind to uh, let our oldest boy Brian work there, and uh, he was there for for four years, I guess it would have been. And you know you can't you can't find a better graduate school to go to. So I mean, it gave him a chance, Brian, a chance to to get out of the Iowa football way of doing things and, and uh, see another place and see how things are really done. And uh, I, I can't imagine there's a better place. Uh, if you want to talk about doing things right, you know, there can't be a better place than the New England Patriots. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. Isn't it amazing you can download an app with your thumbprint? You should download our app with your thumbprint. 